and I already have a uh, whiteboard app session open. And I found something that's really cool with the dice. So I want to show that with you uh, right now. And maybe it's something that you can use in your classroom. So what I'm looking at is, you know that a die has six sides. So I'm going to bring out six images. And these are just different habitats. Um, and I have one more over here. So remember, the easy thing to do with this is if you find a picture on the internet, um, just do a right click on top of it. And I'll bring this over you can, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to grab this picture right here. So I'm going to do a right click on top of it and copy image. Okay, and then I'm going to minimize that to get rid of it. And then remember, whenever you want to paste something here, you don't have a right click available anymore. You're going to use the clipboard down here. So I'm just going to click on that and it pastes that picture right in there for me. Now, um, I'm going to have two dots. So one of the, the other die is going to have um, just text on it. So I'm going to show you how you can make pictures with text. I'm going to create a little bit more room. So I'm going to make this hand right here and make everything a little bit smaller and slide it over. Isn't that easy instead of going to just each picture and resizing each, each picture? You just use that hand to resize things. So I'm going to put some text in here. And we're going to do, I'm just going to type out the word carnivore. And you'll see what I'm getting to in just a moment. Maybe you already have. And I'm going to add some more text here. Let me move this around. So let's move that up. I'll add another text here. And type in omnivore. And then I'll type in herbivore. Now, um, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here to the magic box and I'm going to go over to our tools here and I'm going to grab a die. I'm just going to double click that and bring that out. So one of the things that you can do, and I just found this out, which is really cool. You can go to the settings here and then you can go to the little wrench. Okay. And now you can take those pictures that you have and I'm going to go to the pointing tool right now because I'm still in text. And you can drag those pictures. What I want to do is make sure those adorning tools show up. So click it once and then drag it onto your die. Then I'm going to click on the other one. Make sure the adorning tools come up and I'm going to drag it onto one of the faces of the die and so on. This one wants to be a little cantankerous. So let me click on it again. Move it over. All right. Then I'll do this one and move it over. And then I'll get the rainforest here. Move it onto the die. And then I'll get the desert and move it onto the die. So I have like six different habitats in here. And now I'm going to go back. And now I have this die that I can roll and it gives me different pictures, different habitats. And I wish I could get that a little bit bigger. I guess I can, but it's not huge. So maybe you can see that such so rainforest and then the desert and so forth. Okay, now with my other die, so I'm gonna get rid of these pictures now. I'm just gonna delete those because I don't need them there, they're in the way. All right. And I'll move a die over here. Like that, like that, okay. Now, um, with these, I'm gonna get another die here. And so this is just lesson creation. You were, we're just thinking about different ideas that you can use in your classroom. So I'll get another die here. Bring this one over, close this out. Now I can't do the same thing with text. So if I go to the settings and I click on the wrench and I try to drag that over, it doesn't work. So what you can do is go up to your screenshot tools. And I just want to do a little clip here. It's a little screenshot clip. So click on that and I'm going to click and drag so I can cover the carnivore and I'm going to get a picture of it. Now it showed up over here. So now I want two of those. So I'm going to click on that and let's see, I think that one's a copy. I just want one copy. Yeah, there we go. So I'll click that and now I have another copy. Okay, 
Now this was my original text. So I'm going to try not to confuse that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And now these are different pictures because I just made a picture of them. Those I can drag right on top. Oh, you know what? I could have just done that with one. I didn't think that through. I'm glad I didn't go too far on that. So now I want to cover the other die with these words. Two of the faces will have carnivore. Then over here, I'll do omnivore. So I'm going to capture that one. And make that an image that I can paste onto the die. So there it is. So I'm going to grab it and put it right here. I'm going to grab it again and put it right here. So I just kind of mix those up a little bit. I don't know, I think it's more fair that way. It probably isn't, but it looks more fair. So uh, let me do the same thing with herbivore here. Just gonna take that screenshot of it. All right, so there's herbivore. So I'm gonna drag that over here. Oops, I didn't, there we go. You have to get those adorning tools to show up before you can drag it. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna get rid of these now. Let's see, throw those away. Uh, throw those away, throw these away right here too, because I don't need all that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. So now I have two dice. So it's just a, a little game that I thought you could play. You know, if you're talking about habitats and carnivores, omnivores and herbivores, you can roll the dice. So I'll roll this die and we get the coastline. And now we're gonna click over here. And now we have herbivore. So the game is, okay, write as many animals that you can think of that follow these guidelines. One, they live on the coast, and two, they're herbivore. So you could do this with other things. You could do it with letters of the alphabet if you wanted to. If you're teaching math, you can do it with mathematical symbols. Um, whatever you wanted, wanted to do. You know, maybe it's maybe this is a die with mathematical operations on it, you know, plus, minus, multiply divide, maybe even powers of X. And then this could be a number, you know, maybe you have this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have another die that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And you do some kind of math with that. So just a different idea. I thought that might be pretty cool for y'all to try out for your kids. All right, and I'm gonna save this one because I thought it was a lot of fun. Now, I don't know that I've really taken you through saving your uh, my view board projects that you're making. So. Um, you go right here to the folder, and I, I haven't saved this yet, so I'm going to go to save, and really I want to do save as because I want to name it, so I'm going to click on save as, and I have been putting them in my Google Drive so that when I do things at work, I can have those at work available. I can also come home and work on my home computer and have those available here too. So I'm gonna to go to my drive. And remember, I think I've said this before that whenever you are in Google Drive, it takes a little while to come up sometimes and here we are, we're just kind of waiting for it. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna to go to my second folder. So I just made a folder inside Google Drive. I call it my view board. And I have one that's called lesson plans. And I'm going to name this Animal Habitat. Okay. And we'll click the check mark there. And it says file saving options, click yes to save the current session. And I'm going to say yes to save the current session. And there we go. All right, it's loading, it's saving, it's uploading it to Google Drive, and now we're done.